Hello golfers, Brian Pate here, coming to you from the studio at The Raven in Phoenix, Arizona. Just want to give you a video you could follow along with to do your stretching before you play around or daily in your house or outside your house. So I got the golfer's toolbox here. This could be a club. I just like this device because it's a little bit heavier and longer. So as I put my hands on it, I can put them out wider. So there's a longer video walking you through why I'm doing what I'm doing, but I just want to give you one that I like to do as I'm warming up that you can follow along. What we're first going to start with is hands on both ends of our stick or our golf club. Can we raise the club up over our head four or five times, just starting to loosen up the shoulders, getting them moving. Once we do that, four or five times, hold it out in front of you. We're going to do some bus drivers. Move one hand above the other hand, twist it out in front of you. Again, this is starting to loosen up those shoulders. Next one, holding out the club right in front of your chest. Can we move it to our right, move it to our left? So again, this is just shoulders, not getting any body moving yet starting to loosen up all the ranges in that shoulder joint. Now as we start getting a little bit bigger, we can add in some torso turns, keeping the lower body stable. So we're stretching out the shoulders, now starting to get our spine to move a little bit. And we're going six to eight times each direction. After a few there, we're gonna hold up our right hand at 90 degrees, place our golf club behind the meat of our bicep here and let it hang. From there, I can put a little finger on the lower end here, just getting my external rotation stretched out in my chest. Don't put a lot of pressure here, just lightly so it's moving. We're gonna hold it for eight to 10 seconds. Come out nice and easy. As we're doing this stretch, we wanna be careful not to hurt our rotator cuff. We're just giving it a little bit of a stretch, waking it up. So now my shoulders are feeling a lot looser than they were. Now we're gonna start working down our spine. So we're gonna go overhead again. And from here, we're gonna start adding some side bends to our left, getting our lats stretched out to our right. To our left and then from down the line view I'm going to start stretching my hands back behind my head here and then start finding some movement that feels good to you maybe the right hand goes back left hand goes back just starting to get everything moving from the top down once that's feeling good we're going to go overhead all the way to the ground starting to get our hips moving getting our spine extending, looking up to the ceiling or the sky, down to the ground. Again, we're gonna do six to eight of those. Ooh, starting to feel much better. From there, we're gonna hold the club out in front of us and we're gonna start making a little bit more golf turns into our left side finish, turning back into our right side finish, left side finish. So now we're getting the T-spine moving at the end, but we're introducing our hips to some rotation here. So there's six on each side. Now we're going to put our golf club down to our side. We're going to be stable on our left leg and we're going to let our right leg swing out in front of us. Eight to 10 times. And as that leg starts to swing from down the line, what I like to start doing is can I touch my toe and then reach back behind me? So again, this is hitting the hip and also a little bit of the upper body motion of extending my body and then crunching my body together. After we do eight to 10 on the front, now we're gonna go to the side. So 
Then we're going to go to our left leg and repeat. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're going to go to a 45 degree. So I feel those hips starting to loosen up. Now we're going to take our pull or our club out in front of us. Can we feel like we're going to make a straight line from my hands all the way out through my tailbone and place my ears underneath my bicep. So this is going to give us a stretch in the hamstring, stretch out the back, extend the spine a little bit. If you want, you can move around a little bit, trying to find those areas in your body that are a little bit tight. Give them a little bit of love, getting them moving. Next one, this could be with the club or without a club. I'm going to start without it and say I'm going to put my knees kind of down on my hands down on my knees and kind of start moving my rear side to side. I feel like they're getting lower and lower down towards my heels, just kind of rocking back and forth. This is some hip mobility, loosening up my ankles, getting my ankles moving around. Once I get to the bottom, maybe a little bit of feeling of elbows between my knees, pushing them out to opening up my hips, rocking around, figuring out whatever feels good to you. And as we come up, that kind of hits the whole body from our shoulders down. Now we can get a little bit more dynamic as we're starting to get ready to start swinging our golf club. What we could feel is, can we take a step and a turn on the left? So we're stabilizing and rotating. So we're stepping and turning. So there's our nice little finish position. After we do our sets on the left side, we're going to do the same on the right. So here's our back swing position. Our pressure is moving to the right, stabilizing and turning. And the last one I like to do is now our hips are warmed up is the figure four. Right hand on the club, left foot over the right knee. Now can we can sit back into this left glute, feel it stretch out. If we want, we can move around a little bit. Just find a nice spot where you could feel that stretch. And anytime doing this, if you feel any pain, back away. We're not looking to stretch it that hard, just trying to get our muscles moving and warmed up for the round. So what we do on the left, we got to do on the right. So now I got my breathing going a little bit. I got my blood flowing. One last stretch we could do. I'm going to throw that on the ground. We're going to step out with our left foot. So we're going to be stable in our left leg. And then can we stretch? Our left hand out behind us, our right hand up as tall as we can. So this is going to get, start getting our sling stretching out. And then we can change the rotation. This one's a little bit harder. I feel that one a little bit on my inside. The main one is, can we turn over our left leg or the leg that's out in front of us? Then we're going to step back, do the right leg, right hand behind us, left hand up in front of us. Can we rotate? Feeling like my arms are getting as long as they can. Reaching up to the sky, reaching down to the ground behind me. And here's a little challenge, just getting that inner thigh loosened up. But again, the main one we're trying to stretch is left hand over the right knee, getting down the left side. So there's just a nice little warm up to get you going for the day. Now I can go play golf, I can go on to enjoy my life, move well, do this daily. That way, over a couple months, you'll have better flexibility and play better golf.